Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of I We Redo, where the concepts aren't original and the acting isn't as good. This episode is sponsored by SGA, and today we will be recording our very own version of Hot Ones, the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. I'm your host, Drew Wilson. Our guest today is a speaker and author who has traveled internationally around the world. She has served as an adjunct faculty member here at Indiana Wesleyan and Wesley Seminary. And lastly, she is the new campus pastor and dean of spiritual formation. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dr. Andrea Summers. Hey. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. I'm here. You're here? I am here. Awesome. How are you with spicy foods? Oh my goodness, Drew. Um, <laughs> well, okay. I'll answer that in two parts. I grew up in West Africa where like the spice of choice is cayenne pepper. So um, I grew up eating fairly spicy food, but um, yeah, like now, like if I go to a Thai restaurant and they mm. ask like what level of spice, I'm usually like ask for mild or medium yeah and it's because I like to taste my food awesome yeah well that's all great without further delay let's jump right into it let's do it all right so our first wing has the classic hot sauce has a Scoville rating of 1,700. If you don't know, Scoville rating is how they rank the heat of these hot sauces. Wait, hang on though. This The Scoville rating of this one is what? 1,700. And then this one that I have to get to We'll is... get to that. We'll get to that one. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> All right, this should be tasty though. It's just, just right. 1,700. Okay. Cheers. You went for one whole bite. That was good. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. My first question, it was this year, 2020, mm -hmm. that you were announced as the campus pastor. Yeah. And you've done a great job. But it has definitely been a challenging year to step into this role. What would you say has been the most challenging part of your experience so far? Without a doubt, well, I would say two things. One, it is just... Um, I feel like this is a hard time to get to know new people, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because um, you have the masks, you have the social distancing, you have the, you know, who's in your circle, who's not in your circle kind of a thing. So I feel like um, just getting to know students has had extra hurdles of just trying to like put faces with names and connect with people. So that's probably been by far the hardest hurdle is just feeling like, uh, like, I wish I knew more students' names. I wish yeah. I, you know, it was easier to just walk up and connect with students. But, Definitely. Yeah. Awesome. What would you say would be the most rewarding? So on the opposite end, yeah. most challenging, what's the most rewarding? Hmm. Um, similarly, on the other end, it's just been, been students. The yeah. students that I've gotten to know and gotten to connect with are just incredible, incredible human beings that just blow me away when I hear a little bit of their story, a little bit of where they've come from, um, why they're here, what God is doing in their life, even like, you know, why they chose their major, that sort of thing. I'm just like, wow, mm -hmm. like, you know, they just, they're, yeah, y'all are just amazing. <laughs> I mean, so. yeah, we're great. Uh -huh. We're awesome. <laughs> yeah, you are, you are. So our next hot sauce is Los Calientes, and the Scoville rating for this is 49,000. So that's a big jump from 1,700 okay, to 49,000. Okay. So let's get into it. All right. You're going to put ready? the whole thing in your mouth all I'm, at once? I'm going to take it go? Let's go all at once. Ready? Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Mm. That's a big nugget. That is a big nugget. <laughs> These nuggets are uh, from Mario's, so go Mario's. Mm-hmm. This is gonna come in handy. Mm-hmm. Whole milk. I'm or... good though. I don't need to drink any yet. No. Not I'm yet. gonna save it. Question three. This question actually comes from our Black Student Union here on campus. Chapel has evolved over the years in terms of its efforts to create a more engaging place for diverse students. And some of these efforts have included more diverse speakers, diverse music. So will things like this continue, and what other efforts are being considered to create a more welcoming environment for chapel? Yeah. Um, you know, I've already been in conversation with BSU, just even in 
um, in the last week in recent days about what that can look like um, it's something I'm committed to honestly it's something that's really important to me personally um, but it's also something that you know there are changes that I want to make or hope that we can um, you know steps that we can take even between now and next semester um, but I also think that there's like a, a big picture view of this like you know I'm, I'm in this for the long haul and so there is also kind of a culture shift that we want to see uh, continue to happen that can't happen in one month and maybe not even in one year you know it's something that's gonna um, it's gonna take a while so yeah I think part of that is um, it's diversity of the people that we have up on the platform it's the diversity of the music um, that we listen to when we're walking into chapel and sitting down it's the diversity of music that we have during worship um, and it's the diversity of topics that we talk about um, and and also you know we have kind of more offerings for chapel credit now too like faith integration groups and small groups and stuff like that um, it's getting student input so you know um, making sure that we have um, input from a diverse swath of students from across our campus that are yeah. um, helping us shape what a spiritual for you know what spiritual formation needs to look like on this campus so yeah I think that's a great answer so question four as people we are all creatures of habit and everyone has habits that are unique to them for instance one of my habits is that if there's any silent pause in a conversation I will just start singing don't know why <laughs> but I do so it's like an awkward silencing like you have to yeah the silence. I think it is and yeah. I'm just conditioned every time your life is a musical is what you're saying basically like you could just break into song yes. at any given at moment any time because like life is better as a musical <laughs> <laughs> anyway so whether it's because it's weird or different, what would you say is your most interesting habit? Oh my word, my most interesting. Mm -hmm. um, talent or habit, which one? Both, if you can give me both. Okay, um, my most interesting habit is I tend to preach on one leg, which I wasn't even aware of until someone pointed it out, and it's absolutely true. Really? Like, like a flamingo, I stand on one leg when I preach sometimes. Especially if I'm behind something, yeah, you know, I'll find that I do that, which is weird. Interesting. Is yeah. there a leg you prefer, like the right or left? Absolutely, you know? my left leg. Really? I don't know why. Huh. We'll have to look at look for that next time. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I mean, people are always really impressed with the way my particular version of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Your particular so, version. Yes. So I, I think I think we need to hear that version, version. <laughs> if you can sing it for us. <laughs> All right. Are you sure you're ready for this? I honestly, I don't know. But I'm actually not gonna sing it. Okay. It's just a, it's just my own kind of rendition. Okay? All right. Let's hear it. All right. I can't believe I'm doing this right now. And it keeps going. I wow. Mean, it's, like the finale at the end of the song yeah. is something spectacular. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy right now. That was amazing. That was great. Yeah. Wow. I don't even want to move on. I just want to hear it again. I'll be honest. I, I could, you want to do it again? Uh, no. Maybe fine. after. Sorry, after. Fine. This swing is covered Ooh. in the Reaper hot sauce, which has a Scoville rating of 72,000. Are you ready? No. Now, well, let's go. Are we going whole again? I think that's the only way to do it. <sighs> Gosh darn it. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's just take this silent moment to like really soak it in. Mm. Just think it only gets significantly worse than this. Oh. You are not helping right now. As you said that, it got worse. <laughs> At first you're like, oh, it's not that bad. It really isn't. <clears throat> but And then all of a sudden, ooh, it's just like <sighs> Are you gonna be okay, Drew? <laughs> <laughs> Breathing fire. Alright, so that was good, man. Three down. <clears throat> Question five. Two to go. I think it's worse with milk. Maybe. Mm. Whew. Question five. This is a segment that they do on the actual show of Hot Ones. Whew. And it's called Explain That Gram. So 
We did a deep dive into your Instagram. Oh my gosh. And we found a picture. My Instagram is so boring. I'm so sorry. Hey, but you got great filters on there. I'll be honest. Love <laughs> I the do. filters. I, I like the filters. <laughs> <laughs> so we found this picture. If you want to look this way, and basically, I just want you to explain what's happening here because it looks like your son is giving you a right hook to the face. <laughs> that is absolutely <sighs> what he's doing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he climbs into bed with us and then he just sweats. Mm. He just like, there's like a pool of liquid. Like you can see him right now, like his, his hair is wet, it's matted against his face. <laughs> so people are like, oh, so cute. No. Yeah. No, it's not cute. <laughs> It's disgusting. And then he, it doesn't matter how far I move over, he finds me. He just, shh, and he's all up in my business. So that's all how I woke business. up that morning. Wow. Well, that's a great picture. And you're a great mom for just letting him cuddle <laughs> with his sweaty hand on your face. <laughs> how are you doing on that wing? I'm, I'm all right. Yeah? I'm all right. My tongue is not. The problem is that we have to do this and then we have to talk. That's true. I think true. that's that... what makes it difficult. <laughs> it's actually that really we could hard. just shove them in and then go and, and then be just fine. suffer in oh. silence. Mm. All right. Question six. Hang on. I just want to point out yeah. how much hot sauce is on this particular <laughs> wing. And like, I'll, I'll be honest, that's going to be the worst one, I think. It's. I am. Um... I feel like I need to pray before I put this one in. Yeah, we might do it. Let's ask one more question. <laughs> we'll pray and okay. then we'll devour that wing. So you graduated in 2000 from Indiana West Ham, and that's when you began your career. What do you wish you had known then that you know now? Oh my goodness, such mm -hmm. a good question. I think I would tell myself to welcome the interruptions. Mm. Um, I think that I loosened up a lot. I think I was, my 20s, I was too, um, I don't know, uptight, too boundaried, too, I don't know what. And I think I missed out a lot. Um, I think I maybe missed out on some friendships. I think I maybe missed out on some ministry moments that God was putting right in front of me. And um, I was too busy on my way somewhere to see it. And so, I mean, God redeems it all yeah. and, you know, but, um, yeah, I would just say, listen up, Andrea, and just enjoy, enjoy the interruptions that God brings your yeah. way and see them as opportunities instead of interruptions. So That's great. Mm -hmm. Well, unfortunately, that question's over, which means <laughs> the next hot sauce begins. This yeah. hot sauce is called Da Bomb Beyond Insanity. And I tell you, it lives up to the name. So, I'm really afraid of this one. It just looks intimidating. You should be. You really should be. I don't even want to pick it up. Okay. Are we going whole again? That's up I'm to gonna you. I'm going to do it, but You're you do, do it? you, Drew. Don't, don't let me peer pressure you. realize you I have it. to do what you do. So you don't have to. I have to. Are you ready? All right. I'll hold oh, God, it's all right. Three, two, one. Mm-hmm. Close yep. my eyes. Imagine I'm somewhere else right now. Oh my, oh my God. My nasal cavities. <coughs> it's like cleansing. <laughs> I think my brain is being... Oh. <coughs> <laughs> so, as an IWU alum, wow, what would you say? <sighs> Give me a second. Are some of the biggest changes you've seen from when you were a student mm. to now? He's crying. <sighs> Not yet. Maybe a little. Oh man, biggest changes. Um. <sighs> Uh, my mouth is on fire. Yeah, that's a change. So it's hard to like make my brain <sighs> think. <sighs> hmm. Well, obviously the campus looks completely different. Like, let's just state state the really that's, obvious. It's beautiful. Thing. Um. So like, there's buildings that. <sighs> it's better not to talk. I'm realizing. It really is. <clears throat> I put you in a tough spot. <laughs> 
Wow. You guys, that just got <laughs> <more. laughs> Like, just now. I was like, I think I can do this. And then, oh, whole new wave. Wow. Uh, devouring that water. <laughs> this is really <sighs> rough. The bomb, like I said, was 135,600 Scobo rating. That's a lot. The last dab <clears throat> is 2 million plus. So since it's called the last dab, it's customary on the show. I want to shake it first. Yeah, we should oh, shake it first. Oh, right, right, right. We have to put it. To put a little dab. Just a little dab. A little bit extra on the last wing. This one's worse because it has chunks. I think that's enough. I'll be honest. <laughs> I'm going to be a wuss. Here you go. That's funny. <sighs> okay. Is that good? Is that a dab? That's amazing. Dab. <laughs> All right. That's a good dab. I mean, I could do more than that. <clears throat> no, I think. I will not let Rod outdo me. So he's sake. only allowed to put this much on. Okay. All right. Okay. He will do more. All right then. <sighs> You're setting the bar. Andrea, I You're I will not. I'm so gonna regret. Okay, literally yesterday in our home, mm. we realized we had no toilet paper, and I was like. We gonna have to do something about it. <laughs> I'm doing Halloween. We're Halloween coming home tomorrow, tonight, so we're gonna need extra toilet paper in our house. That's what's Most gonna happen. Most definitely. Wow. <clears throat> I'm impressed. I will not follow suit. Show I'll be honest. That's all right. That's all yeah. right. Yeah. Show Fine. the camera. This is what we got going on. This is the last dab. I'm shaking. <laughs> Here we go. late but while we're calm i'll ask a question how about that, that so way when it hits i'll be ready to answer there'll be time to answer it right so you and your husband jeremy have been married for how long 20 years 20 years so mm -hmm. that's a long time to do embarrassing things in front of them mm -hmm. what would you say whew, has been the most embarrassing thing you've done in front of them oh i cannot tell you the most embarrassing yeah. thing i've done too many to count yeah. Um, no, like, literally, I can't tell you. <laughs> um, I don't know. There's, I mean, I'm constantly embarrassing myself. Mm -hmm. um, that's, like, just a given. I'm always <laughs> doing stupid things. I'm a bit of a klutz. Um, and he enjoys laughing at my expense. I don't know. Like, for, I cannot yeah. think of anything specific, though. So that maybe you're I just not. Done. I think it's because like every day is an embarrassing moment for me okay. pretty much that I just like, <laughs> I, just, I just try not to dwell, yeah. try to just forget and move on. Um, right. So it's just normal for you. You're just an embarrassing person. That's what I'm picking up. Yeah. I'm e well, <laughs> I'm not easily embarrassed. So mm -hmm. I think like things that probably normal people would probably feel embarrassed about. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm yeah. an idiot. <laughs> I'm stupid. So I just keep going. All right. Yeah. Well, fair enough. <laughs> Andrea, I'll be honest, this last wing isn't that bad. I think comparatively to this the bomb. This one was for sure the worst. It really got me. Um, still shaking, though. There was so much of this on yeah, there. That probably, probably is what got us. But it's ridiculous. It really is. Thank you, Johnny Roop. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, we have our last question. All right. So, like I said before, you have been the campus pastor for a short time now. What are some of your big ideas and plans for the future? Hmm. I, I'd love to um, give students more options for, um, for spiritual formation. So, you know, I think <clears throat> opening things up and within limits, obviously, but being creative about what does it look like um, to grow spiritually and um, encouraging students to do that. I mean, that's, that's my, like, my heart at the end of the day is not that every single student has their 15 chapel credits or their 30, 30 chapel credits. I mean, yeah. like that's that we have to, we need to have those kinds of things to like help us along and hold us accountable and that sort of thing. But at the end of the day, my desire is really just to see students um, go, okay, God, what's my next spiritual step? What does that look like? Yeah. And then take it. And my hope is that we have enough 
things available to students that, you know, within the menu options available as we continue growing as an office and expanding what we offer to students that every single student, no matter where they are spiritually, whether they um, are doubting God's existence or whether they are like so in love with Jesus and, you know, just want to worship 24-7 or everything in between, um, no matter where they're coming from that they would be able to find something to go, yeah, this is going to help me grow spiritually. I can step into that. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, that's that's those are my big plans, is just creating sustainable pathways for students to grow spiritually in the context of Christian community. Amazing. Awesome. Good answer. <laughs> um, Andrea, we are done. You have conquered the hot questions, the hot wings. Wow. I even feel? have some uh, milk you and some water left. I'm definitely outdoing me. I think I went through two of these at least. Still working on the milk, but yeah. I'm definitely impressed. This was impressed. good. This was fun. Mm -hmm. Thank you for inviting me. I loved it. Of course. Glad you could come. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you to SGA for sponsoring this episode of I Will Redo. Comment below who you want to see next on the hot seat. And see you next time on I Will Redo, where the concepts aren't original and the acting isn't as good.